Alright guys, so now we've got our files loaded into Lightroom, and what you see here is basically the product shoot that we did for the undefined one bag. And there's three parts to this shoot. There's the first part, which is the first ten images. This is where we show basically what the bag can hold, the contents. The second part, where there's about, let's see how many images, there's 24 images where we show basically covers on the bag. And I think I've narrowed this down somewhat so it's not the entire shoot, but at least it's a good amount of that shoot, so we can see sequences and everything like that. And then we have the third part of the shoot where we did an actual, uh, the models, both of them together, showing male and female versions of the bag, and there's 11 shots in that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get started with culling. And if you guys haven't heard that term before, culling is basically the process of sorting, kicking, rating images. That is called culling. So there are several different ways to cull, and you guys are going to kind of pick the one that works the best for you. One thing to note before we get into culling is to make sure that you guys are doing culling in the library module. As you guys know, we when we imported these photos, well, if you'd, if you'd imported it with us, we actually turned off the uh, rendering of the previews during the import. We put it on minimal. So that means if I'm actually culling and, and rating in the develop module, it's going to be loading up previews as I go from image to image. And I'll show you what that looks like now. See, So if I load this into loop view, I can go from image to image, and it's very quick because it's using these minimal previews that it's already created. When I switch to the develop module, though, look at the bottom of the screen where it says loading. Every time I click from one image to the next, it's going to click, it's going to say loading. Now, I'm running a computer with dual SSDs, so it, it loads pretty fast, but still there's a two, three second pause. If your computer's slower, if you're not, if you're running regular hard drives and all that stuff, it could take anywhere between five to eight seconds to render those develop module previews. So, that's the first note. Make sure that you guys are calling in the library module, not in the develop module. Okay, so there are basically three different ways that you guys can use to cull your images. Uh, one is via the star system, one is labels, color labels, and then the next is via the flagging system. All right, so let's go over a star-based rating system. I'm going to load this into loop view just so we can see it a little bit easier. So a star-based rating system might be something like this, where we say a one means images that are going to be thrown out. They're going to be deleted. Uh, a two might be images that will be kept, but they're not going to be delivered to the client because they're not quite good enough. Three are going to be images that are good enough, but they're not yet finished. They're not post-produced yet. Four would be an image that is post-produced and ready to be delivered. And a five is an image that is basically good enough to go like into our portfolio or onto our blog or something like that. Now I'm just going to hit zero to bring that all back to, uh, to reset that. Now a color label system would be very similar uh, to that, where basically you're going to come up with uh, a certain meaning or definition for each different color label. And again, just for review, color labels are accessed by hitting 6 through 9, 6 for red, 7 for yellow, 8 for green, and 9 for blue. All right, so, and if I go back to my grid view, I can see which colors are actually applied to each image. And I'm going to hit 9 again just to remove that blue label. Now a flagging system is a very simple way of rating, it's actually the one that we use, and the next tutorial is going to give you a detailed example of how we use the flagging system. But basically, if I hit P, it's going to flag it as a pick, U is going to leave it as just unpicked, it's going to remove the flag, and X is going to mark it as rejected. So basically in the film strip as well as in grid view, you're going to see that rejected photos have a little X by them, and they're also faded out. Um, flagged photos are going to have a, a white flag by them as well as a white border around the image. And then unflagged photos or unpicked photos, pick photos that just haven't been flagged, rejected, or flagged as a keeper are just going to be blank, like the ones from 3 on. Now one of the cool things about using the flagging system is that at any point in time you can hit control plus backspace and it's automatically going to select the rejects and give you the option to either delete it from disk or just to remove it from the Lightroom library. So it's a really quick and easy shortcut to just get rid of all the rejects. Now I'm going to hit cancel here because I don't actually want to delete this image. All right, so that's a basic overview on, on the different types of rating systems. Now let's go to the actual system that we use in the studio.